Beautiful. So our functionality works. Technically, everything is fine, but we can save some lines of code if we refactor this to an object. And of course, it's going to make even more sense if you have more state values. What do you think is easier to have one object that has, let's say, 10 properties, or to have 10 state values? Again, it depends on the use case, of course. If you have a use case for 10 separate values, then of course, don't just randomly group them together. But let's say alert example, what is usually in the alert? Well, you want to know whether it's going to be displayed. So basically, there's going to be a Boolean value true or false. You probably also want to know whether it's going to be danger or success, whether it's going to be some red alert, or it's going to be green. And you also probably want to change the text. So that's a perfect example where actually you don't have to set them up one by one. You can just group them together in one object. So here's what I want to do. I want to go with const. And I'm going to call this person and set person. Now this is going to be equal to my use state. And here we'll pass in my object. And as far as the properties, well, we'll use the same ones. We'll say name is equal to Peter. And then let's copy and paste one, two, and let's just change these values around as well. So we're going to go here with age, that will be equal to 24. Yep, you're exactly correct. And then lastly, we have our hobby. So we go here with hobby. And we'll go with read books. Now we can remove all these use states, we won't need them anymore. And we also don't need to call them one by one. So now I can go with one function, which is set person, and I just need to provide the object. And here I'll say John first, then age 28. And then I'll say the hobby is equal to scream at the computer. And once I save, I actually get an error. Why? Well, because remember, now our state is an object. So we can either destructure it over here, one by one, just grab the properties or we need to go with person, person dot name, then we're looking for person dot age. And then lastly, of course, we have person and hobby, correct? So let's do that. Let's save. And now everything should work. So once I click, check it out. Now I have the new values. Now be aware of the gotchas. Remember, we can pass whatever value in the set function. So even though this is an object, I can pass the string. And what do you think is going to happen? Well, our application is going to somewhat break, because there is no more object. So let's try this one out. First, I'll copy and paste, or I'm sorry, I'll comment this one out, my bad. So we'll go here with set person. And then let's say, shake and bake. And what do you know, the moment I save the moment I click, I have nothing rendered. Why? Well, again, there is no object anymore. So I simply have the enjoys. These ones, they're undefined. So that's the first thing to be aware of. Second, you can also overwrite by just providing one property or two, basically, not all of the properties. So in this example, we provided all of the properties. So it was kind of hard to mess it up. But what if I go here and say set person, and I just say, you know what, I want to change the name, I don't want to change the other ones, I just want to change the name. Well, now I'll only have a object with a value of Susan. So let's go here, let's click and check it out again. The other ones, they're not there anymore, because this is the new state value. This is the object. Now a way around it is effectively to just copy the properties from the state. So first, let's just copy and paste. Let's uncommon this one. And first, we want to copy all the values. And then we just need to decide which ones we want to overwrite. So I'm grabbing all of the properties, 
with all of the values. And if I just want to overwrite one of them, I say name is equal and whatever value. So in this case, Susan. So now everything is going to work. We'll still preserve those current values. So if I click over here, notice it changes to Susan. Hopefully this is clear. Again, it's not a solution for every use case. Of course, there's going to be use cases where you will have multiple state values. But this is a nifty approach. If you can effectively group together the state values, since it's just going to save you time on setting up the logic. Again, be aware of the gotchas. It's very easy to overwrite the value and then run around like a headless chicken and look for the bug.